Hi, good day. It's Adriel again. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm off to paradise, but before I reveal where we are headed to, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever new videos like this comes out. And let's go! Finally on my side She pulls the sheets off of me every night Whispers my name, tells the sun to rise Hey, she brings me back to life Sobrang layo niya lang sa um, Kagban Jetty Port, but it's okay. So, this is our room sa gitna. And let me show you 
inside. And so, this comes with the room. <laughs> okay, so pagpasok mo, ito na siya agad. Yan, the bed. So, comfortable. And then, you have your seat there and a table. And then, your TV na iniisip ko sana may cable. <laughs> and then, yan, meron free coffee. And then, ref. And then, this is already the CR, which is not bad, really, for its price. Ayan, so, yes. So, this is the cabinet. Let's open. Yes, and that's the bolt. Meron kami nilagay na 3 million pesos. First meal here in Borja. the seaside na and we are walking to the long beach because nasa dinibid kami and it's quite a walk para makadating doon sa mas maraming tao makapunta sa sibilisasyon ganon ayan hindi nyo ba kami nakikilala anak ni Lilia Pineda anak ni Chabit Simpson ganon mobra kayo grabe ang ganda guys dito sobrang tahimik kasi konti yung tao dito sa napuntahan namin area. Diba, friend? True, hindi siya crowded. Mm-mm, hindi siya crowded. Walang matapag. Oo. Pero, ewan po, punta pa rin kami sa crowded. Ayan, guys. So, totoo nga, nung nagpunta ko dito ng 2015, masyadong maraming mga mga daybeds, maraming masyadong nakahiga dyan, maraming nagpapa- Um, nagpapamassage, maraming yung activities uh, beside uh, the water. Pero ngayon, nawala na sila talagang napakalawak na ng galawan ng tao. So, I think mas better siya. Kaso nga lang, nawala yung mga activities, pero sa tingin ko, it's for the better naman. Pero nakakalungkot kasi doon sa mga nadaanan namin, meron na akong nakitang mga basura. Mga pinaginuman ng alak, mga pinag, ano, ng, pinaglagyan ng chichirya, So, ayun. Bukas, kung maglalakad kami ulit dito, magdadala ako ng plastic para pulutin yung kanilang mga basura. <laughs> Pero hindi ko naman kayang gawin yung lahat. Pero kahit pa konti-konti lang. Ganon. Guys, you know what really uh, make Bora, uh, makes Boracay special? Powdery white sand. Let me show you. Okay, guys. Let me show you how fine the sand here in Boracay. This is the sand. Look. So fine. It's just that there's too many dried leaves. But it's really, 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 really super duper fine. Look at that. You can never see this fine sand anywhere else. It's only here in Boracay. Boracay. Like that.
morning from paradise. Yeah, next swim na kami. And um, what's the agenda for today? After this, we'll go back to our room and then um, we are going to Station X. Okay, so we're gonna spend the whole day there because the place is just so beautiful and marami silang pagkain doon na masarap. And I really want to go there because of different reasons. So, I will be taking you guys with me again. Pero, I'm gonna show you first yung dagat. Ang ganda talaga pag umaga. Grabe. Grabe, oh. Imagine waking up to this every single day of your life. My God. I want to live here. Can somebody send me money <laughs> para makabili ng property dito. My God, I want to live here. Pwede bang magpa-transfer dito ng plantilla? <laughs> there, nasa yung banda doon. Hindi lang nakikita masyado, pero may windmill sila. So, yung banda doon, ayan, hindi yan ilokos, pero may windmill din sila dito. Sobrang ganda. Grabe. Kagabi, sobrang nakakatawa at nakakabwisit at the same time si Google Maps. Kasi, nandito din kami nakaupo kagabi. Tapos, ah, hinanap namin yung, ano na ba yun, friend? Two Seasons Boracay. Ayan. Ginamit ko si Google Maps. Tapos, pinaglakad niya kami ng pagkalayo-layo. Nandito lang pala, malapit sa amin. Siguro mga tatlong tumbling lang. <laughs> Nandun ka na nakakairita si Google Maps. Pero nahanap namin siya, kaso nga lang, sobrang puno. Nakakain kami kagabi sa Alfresco Restaurant ng, ano na ba yun? Ambassador in Paradise Hotel. So, ayun. And then, itatry pa din namin bago makaalis sa Boracay na makapunta sa Two Seasons. Kasi gusto ko matry yung pizza nila. Yeah. So, today, it's all about eating. <laughs> all about swimming. And swimming. Nag-swimming na kami. Ayan, medyo nangingitim na nga kami ng konting very, very light. Hmm. Swimming ulit. <laughs> So we came, we just came from Station X and now we are back here in, um, at the beach. So we're just gonna walk here and look around. We are now at Station 3 of Burahai Island and hmm, there's too many people here. And like back there, there's only little or little number of people. So 
Shireen over there are, is taking photo. So, so far we're enjoying naman. And hindi pa rin kami gumagasas ng malaki. Nakakatuwa kasi uh, sa Station X, akala namin noong una, 1,200 per head. But, hindi pala ganun. So, magkano siya? 1,200, it's already good for two people. And para ka lang nag-lunch talaga, kasama yung friend mo. So, hindi siya ganun kamahal. It's okay lang. So, hindi pa kami gumagasas ng ganun kalaki. Yeah, it's fine pa hanggang sa Wednesday. So, ayan, lalakad mo na kami. Bye! Okay, nasa Station 3 kami. Ito rin sabi ko kanina. Ang difference sa Station 1, sobrang daming tao. Ang hirap talagang mag-take ng pictures na ikaw lang yung makikita. Sobrang dami talagang may eksena sa pictures mo. So, jajempuhan mo pa siya talaga. Pero, pwede na rin naman. Also, dito sa uh, site na to ng Boracay, mas maraming affordable na mga hotels. So, if you're looking for affordable hotels, you should try looking sa Station 3. Tapos, Station 2, so-so. Pero yung station 1, ayun talaga mga pumapagaspas yung mga hotel doon. Mga 15,000 per night, ganyan. Pero meron ka rin namang makikitang mga medyo mura. Ayun. It's our third day here in Boracay and we are going for breakfast sa Real Coffee. Apparently that restaurant is one of the famous restaurants here in Boracay for serving good pastries and breakfast. So um, we're going there and then late, later, mga 11 a.m., babalik kami dito sa room to fix our things and we are moving to another um, Airbnb sa kabilang side ng Boracay. Okay, so yun lang gagawin namin today. Photoshoot, of course. <laughs> Pictorial. And then, I'll show you around. Mm, keep on watching, please.
just had one of the best omelets of my life. Ang sarap talaga ng omelet. If you're going here in Baraha, you should go for breakfast or real coffee. They really offer really good food. Ang sarap talaga ng omelet. Plus na kalaman si muffin. Masarap pero I think it's too tangy. Pero masarap naman. At saka yung muffin niya sobrang dense talaga. At saka walang hangin sa loob. So you're really getting what you have paid for. And yung price naman, hindi siya ganun kamahal. Tama lang. Reasonable naman yung pricing niya. Kaya, it's okay. Now, we're going back to our hotel kasi nilipat na kami ng accommodation. So, kailangan namin mag-pack. Pero, guys, look at this view. Diba? Gorgeous! This view! <laughs> Gorgeous! I will never get tired seeing this. I think I will go back this year ulit. Hmm. So, eto, nandito na kami sa New Coast, Boracay. We're going to have dinner sa Savoy Hotel. But before that, we are going to the beach para tignan kung ano yung difference dito sa kabilang side ng island. So, I am Ashus Walt going to take you with me. So, je! Hello, friends! Again, yan. Papunta pa lang kami doon sa hmm, sa beach area ng New Coast, Boracay. Pero sobrang layo niya. Ang tagal-tagal na namin naglalakad, hindi pa rin kami nakakarating. <laughs> Pero alam niyo na, things to do for Instagram. <laughs> Ganon! Hindi niyo alam kasi eh. <laughs> yeah, we just wanted to see the difference of this side of Barakay compared with um, the usual place where people would go. So, ayon. Ganun. Yes, me too. There. Can you see the beach there? Yeah. <laughs> Glow in the dark. Ano yan? Neon ka ba? <laughs> Ayan. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. Ang ganda niya, guys. Grabe. Ayan, nakakita na ako ng sibilisasyon. May tao pala dito. <laughs> Ganon, may tao naman parang nagpupunta. Kala ko mga celebrity lang na katulad namin yung nagpupunta. Char. <laughs> Ganon. So, ayan. I'll meet you again later pag nasa um, loob na kami ng restaurant nila. <laughs> Bye! Actually, guys, ayan yung view na makikita mo dito. So, eto yung nilakad namin. Ngayon, medyo pababa siya. Pero good luck sa amin mamaya pagka kami ay paakyat naman. Tingnan ko lang kung tanggapin pa kami sa saboy nun. Amoy na kami ewan. Pero maganda siya. Guys, I don't know about you, but look at this view. So beautiful. Guys, dito pala sa New Coast, Boracay. Kung gusto mong maging alone, gusto mo ng quiet time, you want to read books, you want to read the Bible, or any kind of book 
this is the perfect uh, perfect place to be because uh, napaka-private niya. Ang konti ng tao, as in literal, um, na, na background ko naman, si Jirin lang yun nandun. Yun naman nilalakaran ko. As in, wala talaga. Banda doon, meron mga ilan-ilan na tao, pero all in all, hindi talaga ganun karami yung tao. Okay, dun sa banda doon, meron mga day beds if you want to read books. O kaya naman, if you want to have a tan, pwede rin dito sa area na to, maglatag ka na lang ng towel. Tapos, that's it. Um, siguro sa atong uh, place na to, para sa mga introverts talaga. O kaya dun sa mga taong naghahanap ng sarili nila. Gusto nila maintindihan muna yung sarili nila and have some alone time with their self. Okay, so, ayun, I suggest you go here and check in sa Savoy Hotel Boracay or instead, pwede ka rin na mag-check in through Airbnb dun sa kanilang mga condominium units. Um, ay, ganun yung ginawa namin ng friend ko. We are checked in doon sa um, Ocean Way Residences sa New Coast Boracay. And it is only 3,400 for everything. Ang ganda ng place, ang laki niya. May one bedroom, ang laki ng bed. Tapos, meron extra bed, ang laki ng CR, kompleto ng gamit, lahat ng pwede mong isipin na kailangan mo for a living para mabuhay ka sa pagstay mo. Perfect siya. Nandun lahat. So, I highly recommend this place if you want to um, know yourself more. If you are thinking about something, this is the perfect place to be. Hmm. Huwag ka lang magpapakamatay. Okay? <laughs> so guys, change of plans. Supposedly, kakain kami sa Savoy Hotel. Pero since parang ayokong spend yung last night namin na kakain lang kami basta sa isang parang restaurant lang, normal restaurant, um, I suggested na pumunta kami ulit dun sa Long Beach. So, we're gonna look for a restaurant there that is al fresco with um, singing band so that mas relax, mas memorable yung aming last day or last night dito sa Boracay. So, ayun. If you're someone na hindi masyadong gusto ng maraming tao, New Coast Boracay is the place to be. But, if you're someone who needs to see people, um, who wants to interact with more people, I think you should get a hotel near Long Beach instead. So, ayun. But, all in all, the place here in New Coast Boracay is very good din naman. This is my last dinner here in Boracay, of course, with Sangria. Hi! So, it's our last day here. Half day na lang kami. Kasi mamaya susunduin na kami ng 12 o'clock papunta sa airport. Pero bago yun, um, pupunta muna kami sa Puka Beach. Naglalakad kasi kami kasi um, na-miss namin yung 8 o'clock na biyahe ng free shuttle ng Ocean Way. So, naglalakad kami papunta sa gate. Tapos, from there, meron na mga tricycle to Puka Beach. So, nakakahingal kasi puro uphill. Grabe. <laughs> I'm so tired na. But, I know that it's gonna be worth it. Okay, guys. One thing that I've learned, pag pumunta ka ng Boracay, kailangan magdala ka ng kayo. Kasi madaming lakarin and hindi lahat ng oras ay masarap lumakad. So, kung lalakad ka, kailangan mo magdalang payong. Tulad ngayon, from our hotel, medyo mahirap sumakay. Wala kaming payong. Galakad kami ng sobrang init. Pero it's okay. Next time, magdala ng payong. So, this is Puka Beach, guys. It's different from what I remembered before. Meron ng mga tindahan. Kasi sa natatandaan pa dati, walang tindahan.
So guys, I'm giving you a room tour. So we are here at ground floor room A. And when you open, ito na ang iyong makikita agad, yung table. So this is the dining table right away. And then, here is the kitchen. Medyo magulo. Nagsain kami, nagpakulun tubig. Ayan. So, kung magtitipid ka talaga, Airbnb is for you kasi yung food, choice mo na lang kung kakain ka sa labas or magluluto ka. And then, that's the sink already, the ref, and then we have the washing machine if you need to wash clothes. Diba? At least, kompleto na siya. And then, lalabas ka ulit. Here is the living area. Makikita mo... Um, very spacious naman. I think this room is good to 5 to 6 people. Pwede. Diba? And then, you have the TV here. And when you enter, this is another room. This is the bedroom. This is the bed. And let's see how soft. <laughs> this is the... Where is... This is the... Comfort room. Okay. And then, dito na rin yung shower room. Okay. Ang gusto ko dito, meron siyang, um, yeah, if you want to shower or if you want to use a uh, tabo. Okay. Uh, hot and cold na rin siya. So, ayun. Meron ding free na blower. And then, this is the cabinet. Yan, wala siyang laman. Pero sa loob, meron comforter na extra. Meron dalawang blanket na extra. And then, lots of towels here. So, ayan. ba? Sobrang nakakatuwa lang pagka ganito. Um, you really don't have to... Um, go outside pa to get things like this. Pag sa hotel, mag-request ka pa ng additional na mattress. Hi guys! So, pa-uwi na kami. We are just waiting for our service to pick us up. So, that service is Island Star Express. Um, we booked that through Klook Up and um, sobrang convenient gamitin talaga nun kasi um, you don't have to line up pa pagdating mo sa Jetty Port para kung, uh, magbayad sa boat. Okay? So, wala ka na talagang babayaran. So, stress-free. Tapos, sa uh, hotel ka pa na talaga susunduin. So, there's no meet-up. Talagang door-to-door -door siya. So, if you're going here or anywhere else, I suggest that you book uh, transfer through the cloak app. And that's it for my Boracay vlog. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And visit my website at www.stylebyadriel.com. See you in my next video. Bye!